We are outside Gloucester Royal Hospital. Um, the workers have been here, union uh, reps have been here and uh, staff since uh, 7 o'clock this morning and they'll be staying until 11 and it's uh, one of several days of strike action that have been organised by the unions and coordinated by different unions which I think is, is really important that they are striking together and that there's greater cooperation. So midwives haven't had a pay rise for the last three years, they've increased pension contributions, the birth rate has gone up, there's an increased complexity in the care that women need. So women with diabetes and heart disease say that wouldn't have had babies 25 years ago are now having babies. The caesarean section rate, although we're trying to get it down, has risen quite dramatically and that means there's extra pre-operative and post-operative care that midwives need to give, yet the numbers of midwives haven't gone up and we are still 3,500 midwives short in England of the number of midwives that we need to deliver safe, quality care. Basically, the 1% pay rise was agreed by the pay review body. Um, there has been a pay freeze for the last three years, so in terms of pay keep, keeping up with the cost of living, it hasn't. And this pay rise is not consolidated into pay, so at the end of the year it just disappears. Same thing next year, another 1% which isn't consolidated. So in 2016, the pay of midwives will drop back to 2010 rates. I'm Julia Chandler and I'm Regional Officer for the Royal College of Midwives. Ha ha ha!